friend Scott, who is an MMA guy. He studies Muay Thai and BJJ. And I would like to address uh, two Aikido people how to defend against MMA uh, using Aikido. I'm in no way slamming any other martial art. Uh, every art has its own benefits and everything like that. Uh, BJJ wants to do ground fighting, take you to the ground, stuff like that. In Aikido, we don't want to go to the ground. So I hope to illustrate in this video how not to go to the ground using Aikido. And uh, to point out some of the strengths of Aikido uh, that may be overlooked. First, I would like to address some uh, Muay Thai striking, uh, punches, elbows, uh, and then we'll move on to kicks, then we'll move on to um, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu stuff. So, when he's going to punch, like I've talked about before, in Aikido, our posture is very important and we always move offline. So, 100% of the time, we move offline. So, if he punches, I want to move out of the way. So, as he punches, I'm watching his center. And he's gonna, he's gonna punch and he's gonna recoil and everything just like he really would. But I'm watching his center, I'm not watching his hands. So as he punches, I move out of the way. And I keep this space. I either want to enter or back away from him, but both are done diagonally. So as he moves, I'm coming in or coming out of the way, right? So he's punching. <laughs> and I have Kodagaish. Um, so, whether we move forward, whether we move backwards is situational all the time. It depends on where you are or whatever you're doing. One thing I want to point out right now with my wheel um, is that as he punches, and he'll punch with this hand, uh, as he punches, slow, my wheel comes up so that I'm between the elbow and the shoulder on the second hand as I move. So he's punching and I move, right? And this is important in a minute. Go with this hand. So he punches and I move. So in uh, Muay Thai, when he's striking, uh, I had someone ask me uh, to talk about how to defend against elbow strikes. So when in Muay Thai would you use elbow strikes? Uh, when I'm more close quarters to you. Mm -hmm. So after a recall of a, of a punch. So, so when he's punching, and let's say I get out of the way to punch, he's then gonna try to elbow me in the face, right? Uh, we can defend against this two different ways. One, w well, it's the same way, but two different things are going on. So one, as he punches, I'm getting out of the way. So even if he brings his elbow back, he can't reach me, you know? So he's punching, and then he elbows, and I'm over here, right? But I don't want to be so far away that I can't do anything to him, right? So he's coming in, but I'm out of his way. So from this side, he's punching, and I'm moving out of the way, right? And he misses me. So like that would not reach me from there. He'd still have to move him further. Another thing that I'm doing is as he punches, punch and leave it out. As he punches, my second hand is coming up behind his elbow. So if he recoils at this point trying to elbow me, it pushes him away from me rather than moving into me. So he's going to punch and it pushes him down, right? With my position and posture. So he's punching, and then I keep him just by my posture and position from being able to move into me. I have control of his shoulder joint here, I have control of his leverage as I move. So, uh, my feet and hands should move together. So when I move, like one hand moves with one foot, the other hand moves with the other foot. Um, let go slow. So it's like one, where this foot and hand move, one, and then two. So in one motion, it all happens together. So I'm completely out of the way, and I have made contact with his body, or his arm. And going back to my balance points video, the shoulder joint here, pushing up this way, rolls him off his center. So, as he punches, the elbow's not there. One more thing on the striking and how to defend against the elbows. 
is uh, when would be another time that you would use elbows? Uh, another time that we would use elbows is when we come in close quarter fighting. So I'm here to grab. Okay. We're in the space. Okay. To use the force like that. Okay. So a way that we could uh, defend using Aikido against that elbow is I want to always control this distance. Right? So right now, he can't reach me without coming forward. I know that, but he may not realize that, the opponent, whoever they are. So if he's going to come in to grab me and use an elbow, I'm just going to keep him from grabbing me <laughs> by moving offline. So he's going to come in, and I'm going to move out of the way. So he can't use that elbow because he can't grab me either because I'm controlling this distance. The other subject, Muay Thai, is kicking. Uh, how would you kick in Muay Thai? What is your target? Where do you kick in? Uh, usually the thigh. So we have an outer kick. Boom. All right. So, so using Aikido, this is very similar to the body motion of a Yoko Minuchi. You know, we're coming around from the side. So he's coming around to kick me. So what I want to do is blend with it, right? So as he's coming over there, I'm getting in the middle of it or completely out of the way. You know, so let's say, let's say I 10 come. So he's coming in and I'm over here. So doing nothing with my hands, I'm just not in the way of the kick. I am in the way of his fist. <laughs> so as he comes in, I'm moving out of the way. Uh, and how we can bring the hands into that is I'm going to catch it and throw it. <laughs> So using my wheel, um, I'm going to catch this as I step, this hand is coming up, and it's here, and as I turn, I have him. So he's kicking, I'm blending with it. So as he kicks, I'm blending with it, right? I'm going where it's going. So he's kicking once more, I'm getting out of its way. So another defense is to get in too close so that he can't kick me. So as he's kicking, I want to go straight in. I want to hit me, I want to enter. I want to move offline, but also push him. So if we're gonna hold him, so if we're going to do like an agu ski, where I'm pushing him by his face or his throat, as he kicks, I want to do that right as he moves. So he's coming in, kick, boom! <laughs> and I'm shutting down his motion. So as he moves in, I'm moving into it to stop his motion with my body. So it shuts it down before it even starts. So as he moves, I'm moving into it. And I'm moving into it at an angle where my angle is strong to his weak angle. So, as he goes to kick, boom, I'm going straight in at my angle, which is shutting down his movement. So one more time, boom, right? And my posture and position are what gives me the stability and the strength in that situation. One point that I would like to make, I keep mentioning reading uke, I would like to point out how to read uke uh, when he punches or kicks. Um, uh, what are you trying to understand there? So let's say I'm kicking him, I'm punching him, right? So I'm gonna punch him, watch the center. Because let's say I'm punching with the right, my body turns toward the right. Let's say I'm kicking with my right leg. This part of me is going away, my body is still coming toward him. Boom! Right? So if he's going to move, this part of me is coming toward him. Even if both parts are coming toward him at the same time, he knows the attack is coming from this side. So if he's punching or kicking me, I know that it's coming from that side. I might not know if it's a hand or a foot, but it's coming from that half. So I know which direction I need to go. I need to agree me in or I need to get out of the way. Uh, and which side. So if he's kicking from the other side, even if this foot's forward, no, 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 if this foot's still forward, and he's still punching or kicking from this side, it's going to start coming forward. So however the body turns, 
you know which half of the body it's coming from. And then if you want to get into it a little deeper, if it's a punch, the punch tends to lean forward and come toward you, where a kick tends to lean backward, you know, because it's got to balance the body to get the foot out. So if I'm going to kick him with this side, the top of me starts to go backwards. Now it might go really fast, but it starts to go backwards. As opposed, like I can't lean forward and kick him up here because then I just throw the whole momentum off. <laughs> so when you're reading the opponent, be aware of how the body moves in, you know, four parts. So if he's moving, I know which side it's coming from. I know it's coming from this place here. So it's coming in, I know it's coming from there, right? 